is here. Today we are back in the eastern Tidewater region of Virginia and welcome to Caledon State Park. This park is located on Virginia's Northern Neck Peninsula and we're in King George County. Elevations in the area range from roughly 100 feet above sea level at the trailhead and visitor center down to as low as five feet above sea level along the banks of the Potomac River. We are currently hiking the Boyd's Hole Trail, probably the most popular trail in the park. You can see it's like a road, gravel road. It's open to hiking and biking. It's about two miles down to Boyd's Hole by the Potomac River. Boyd's Hole was a colonial era port that remained in use up until almost the Civil War. Depending on how our time goes today, we may also sidetrack from the Boyd's Hole Trail and head off into the Caledon Marsh, take a look at some of the swampy areas, and there's also some river access through there as well. So come along, let's go check it out. Okay guys, we've come to a spot along the trail known as the Triangle, or Triangle Field. And it's a bit difficult to tell from here on the ground, but you can see this field sort of has a triangle shape to it. And this is the Boyd's Hole Trail. It's still uh, just under one mile down to the Potomac River. But we're going to temporarily break off and head out to the Caledon Marsh in this direction. I read that here in the Caledon Marsh natural area there are a lot of old growth trees and I am starting to see some rather large trees here along the trail. We're still in mostly an upland environment here. So the marsh trail continues in that direction down to the banks of the river. We're going to briefly take this short spur over to the cliffs overlook. Danger! Do not cross the fence. Check out this awesome view guys. This is the cliffs overlook here at Caledon State Park overlooking the Potomac River. Looks like two or three miles maybe across the river, perhaps more. And that is the state of Maryland on the other side, of course. Pretty cool spot. You see the river down below? Park literature said it's about 60 feet, but I think it's actually less than that. I would say it's maybe 40 or 50 feet maximum. There's the fence you're not supposed to cross. There's the bluff. Awesome view. Guys, if I'm not mistaken, this area here is the remains of an old quarry. There was some mining activity here in the past. Anyway, we are back on the Caledon Marsh Trail and just a short distance now around that bluff down to the shore of the river. You can see here part of the Caledon Marsh. You can tell it's very wet and swampy, very boggy down in there.
Okay guys, we made it down to the banks of the river. This of course is the Potomac River, dividing Virginia and Maryland. Alright guys, well I spent a few minutes here hunting around for some shark teeth and other fossils and while the giant megalodon tooth still escapes me, I did manage this pretty cool find with just a few minutes of digging. So we're going to hang out here a few more minutes and get back on the trail. Alright guys, so from here we're going to be backtracking the Caledon Marsh Trail back up to the Triangle Field. And from there, we will continue on the Boyd's Hole Trail back down to another spot along the river. All right, guys, we are briefly off trail. And we're going to take a little shortcut through the open woods. All right, guys. Emerged from the woods and we have reconnected with the Boyd's Hole Trail. Okay, guys, we are very close to the river now. Mallow's Marsh. Pretty cool. Okay guys, welcome to Boyd's Hole, spot here along the Potomac River. Boyd's Hole was actually a port during the colonial era and remained in active use up until almost the time of the Civil War. It's a beautiful spot here along the Potomac River. This is certainly a very interesting area with the Potomac River, this narrow beach, and then of course just behind the beach is the Mallows Marsh area. And spectacular view here along the river. Hope you guys enjoyed this visit to Caledon State Park. Thanks so much for coming along. Please leave me a comment down below. I always enjoy interacting with you guys. As always, I appreciate all your views, comments, and your support of my channel. Thanks a lot, guys, and I'll see you on the trail.